tried to be nice. We could do it your way. What's the matter, baby? I don't know, Jermaine. I feel crazy. I know things got a little out of hand last night, baby, but relax. It's okay now. I guess I just need to know how you feel. About what? Last night? Us? What? Everything. I feel like the luckiest man on earth. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. I mean, I have a beautiful wife who understands me, who's willing to do anything for me. I couldn't ask for more. So you don't think any less of me? No, baby. You know I don't. It's all about you. Better be. Always. Okay. I love you, baby. Mm. I love you too. Jazzy, I made your breakfast. Ah, uh, oh, it's okay. I, I think I should be getting home. Ah, oh, you go home when you're ready. You don't have to take nothing from him. He knows where you are, and you see, he hasn't called you back. What's wrong with you? I need to find a babysitter for Derek this weekend, and I can't find anyone. Why? I mean, he always stays there by himself. Yeah, but I'm trying to do stuff differently now. You know I got that court thing, and I don't want to take any chances. No tell him what Charles will do. Yeah, well, I got an idea. Why don't you call Jasmine? I mean, she seems like a homebody. Please speak to Jasmine. Who may I say is calling? Jade. Listen, I thought I asked you not to call her anymore. You know, she can make her own decision. She's a grown woman. I'm not trying to control her. I am just... Look, I'd appreciate it if you left us alone. I'm trying to be nice, Jade. But you're pushing me into a fucking corner. Whatever. You're just mad because I turned her out. Now put her on the phone. What? You fucking nut bitch. I don't have to listen to this shit. Fuck you, Jermaine. I didn't call for you. I need to ask Jasmine a question. You don't have to ask us shit. Now stop harassing us. What? You think I'm harassing you? You ain't seen shit yet. Was that a threat? Are you threatening me? Because I can just take this up with Judge Cummings. What'd you say? That's right. I happen to know the judge that's trying your custody case. I've done a little investigating. I know a lot about you, Jaden. 
And I think you should play it cool. And not call around here anymore. Fuck you! Don't try me! Fuck you! Don't try me! Ah! Ah! It goes on fine. Ah, oh, wrong number, baby. Anyway, we gotta play to catch Mrs. Davis. Explain all of this. What? Jay. I am sick and tired of you guys always you? telling me what the Crazy. hell to do. I'm out. I know it was difficult being a single parent these days, and for that, I admire your courage. However, given the current circumstances, it is my belief that Derek will be better off in a stable environment where there's a steady income and attention given to him. No. No, you cannot take my son. Mr. Gibbons has assured the court that he and his wife can provide such an environment. However, given his hectic baseball schedule and notorious temper, his word provides the court little comfort. So what do you mean? What do we, what? Calm down, Jay, you're not making things easy. No! My judgment is to take the child as ward of the state, custody depending on the investigation of the lifestyle of the father and the change of financial income of the mother. This decision is effective immediately. Derek! No! You can't take my son! You can't take my son! No! No! Order, no. order Miss Gibbons. No, you can't take my son! You can't take Ms. my son! Miss Gibbons, order. I'll have you removed from the court. No! and slash my man's tires. You know he just called the police. The cops. That's all I need. I took my son. Oh. What? Who? He's gone. He's gone. That's why he needs the money. So I can keep them. And he's gone. I would never 
to do anything to hurt you. I know you wouldn't, Jane. Anderson, this is Detective Smith. We're with the Atlanta Police Department. Here. So what's this all about? Look, you already took my son. Ain't got nothing else. This is a restraining order. You are hereby ordered to stay at least 200 feet away from Mr. and Mrs. Jermaine Davis. Otherwise, you will be arrested. What grounds do you have to do this shit to me, huh? Mr. Davis had an accident. He believes his safety is in jeopardy. Oh, he had an accident. Hmm. I guess he ain't dead. No, he isn't dead. He'll be fine. You have a real good day, Miss Owens. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. It only take a minute. Just let me in. What do you want? Holmes, huh? Huh? Crazy bitch, huh? You wanna fuck with me, huh? You wanna fuck with me? Fuck out! This is, uh, Jermaine. <laughs> How are you doing? I haven't spoken to you in a hot minute. I've been okay. But I don't know why you're calling me here at 5.99 in the morning. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I shouldn't even be asking you this. It's a stupid question, but is, is Jasmine over there? And what if she is? Is my wife over there? You should have never walked out on her. Put my wife on the phone. She'll call you when she's ready. What? Put my wife on the phone. Hello? Hello? So what do I do, Miss Paul? I, I don't want him to take my son. I understand that. But to be perfectly honest, it doesn't look good. Look, you're a single mother. You're young, black, open, and bisexual, and you don't have a steady income. Now, Judge Cummings is one of the toughest in the system. But I love my son, and he's always taken care of. I know that. But you cannot leave him home alone because you don't have money for daycare. He's only four. Bye-bye.